I have no idea what has happened, but I am going to assume that everything is working fine, and, and um, you know, I don't know what happened with the first bit of the race, um, especially with the commentary and the broadcasting, so everything is fine. Um, at least we get to enjoy some racing, which is good as usual, so we unfortunately did not see the first, for the most, for, we did not see the first 12 to 13 minutes of the race, so unfortunately we will get to the end and we will still commence our podium in finishing interviews, which is always a good thing, of course. So let's get back into the racing right here. Superhero right now up in front, having to resist the pressure from Polymer, who was on the sec was again second in the finishing race of the first round of the season. And now for the second round, of course, Superhero leading, Polymer in second, and then Kyle, who had a strong top five finish in the first race, is now up in the third, and he's having to create some pressure as well for the guy in front as well. And these two are literally bumper to bumper with each other. Polymer now tries to make a move on the inside, sends him very sideways indeed, messing up the line. Superhero right now having to defend that inside line. I don't think he's gonna do it because Polymer is right up on his driver's side door. Polymer now using a lot of the real estate that is provided, but that's going to cost him a massive amount of time. And Polymer goes wide, and Kyle's going to move up in a second. So that's now very, very impressive strong showing right there. And don't count on James headed fourth, and these guys are literally side by side coming down, and it's possibly going to be even three wide for these start finish line and to turn one, maybe two by two. And James Head now going into the possibly into the barrier, which is the last thing you want to do, and Kyle just hit Superhero, and he's going to send him wide, and Kyle is going to take the lead of this race, oh, and there's more contact, two by two, and SLM Palmer now, he's, he's going to have to straighten that car back on out, put on the flashes maybe, and Superhero now up in the second, but now the but now the man up in front, Kyle now has moved up into third into first position right now. What a turn of events flipped on its head. And now you have Kyle who is now in third, now leading this race. So that is a very, very amazing showing right there for that driver. And like I said, don't count on James Hatton, that number seven Mazda. So we still got some pace to go. This battle for for I want to say fifth right now. Why little Billy right now against Doug Barrow and Barr and also Mushalot in the background as well. Don't count a lot of these guys right now. It's another group of four cards that are going toe to toe right about now and is super super close amongst the front and the mid pack of drivers right there. Obviously not fighting for podium, of course, but they're fighting for keys in the championship right now. And Wyla Billy's having to resi resist more pressure coming from Duck Barrel. But let's take our eyes back up to the front of the field where it is still very, very tight indeed for all these guys. This is amazing stuff that all these straight line motorsports drivers are showing off to the fans here at Brands Hatch right there. Kyle now going to the cover the inside line for the final corner, which is a long sweeping right-hander. You don't want to let your guard off on that one, obviously. And Kyle now having to just look out front and at the same time look at his rear, rear view mirror. So he's going to have to play the juggling game here, of course. You can see the front of the... You can see where he's looking. And you can see out back right there, another train of cars. A train of Mazda is right there. But then you got another group of four cars ever so slightly in the hands of Elliot Fagader right there, who was a knife. Who was also withstanding a lot of pressure from Hairraiser as well, who had an earlier spin in this race. EGIS now, bringing up the back of the grid. Kyle once again doing another strong showing here indeed, with about 13 and a half minutes to go in this shortened broadcast. I do hate to say it, but I'm sorry about the broadcast issues. Apparently the issues were solved by me taking out the microphone and me booting up the, the commentary, or the broadcast I would say, and then obviously So I say that now, but we're possibly going to get a field of about six cars right now. A train of six cars. So this is a very impressive stuff right here. Doug Barrow now moving up past Wilo Billy for fifth. 
And all of these guys, one, two, three, four, five, six cards now. Fighting it out from fifth to tenth right there. Just, ooh, oh, so close indeed. And they are playing for championship points right here. So any move that could be aggressively fought is a one that can be won if you can make it stick, obviously. Palmer now on the inside of Kyle, but Kyle's got to do the harder work to probably try and keep it inside for the final corner. It looks like he does it, but Palmer now is on the inside once again. But can Kyle move back to this inside? I don't think it's going to work now. He's got to force him side by side it. Kyle is going to have to lay on the brakes a lot harder and a lot later than Polymer can. But what can Polymer do to try and take first place away? And it's going to be easily fought there for first right there. Kyle now probably going to try the switch back maneuver and it might work. Back bumper. Can he make it stick? And it's going to be super, super close indeed. And he's alongside him and he takes the lead back. What an incredible switch back move by Kyle, who it looked like to lose the lead has quickly gone back into turn number two. And turn number three now once again. Just under 12 minutes of this race to go. Another very action-packed race here in the Straight Line Motorsports Mazda MX-5 Cup Championship here. SLM Palmer gonna try the same move again to the inside for turn four, then turn five again for Kyle. Who's gonna have to very harshly hold that wheel onto the right-hand side. And here we go again. Palmer's gonna force it up to the inside. Round number two for another lap with 11 and a half minutes to go. Palmer now is gonna have to do the harder work. And Kyle once again got to do the even another tall order, just like he did the last time. If it can be done the first time, it might be done the second time right there. Kyle letting off the brakes of barrel air. Kyle now go down the inside. Kyle's gonna flip, flip, flat the. Uh, Jesus, my English. I apologize for that. My goodness me. Kyle's got to flicker the lights in pure frustration right there. I assume there was a bit of contact made, and James had now all of a sudden didn't even realize it has gone up into third place. So that's another move made for the pro star in the GT3 championship and superhero right now back into fifth now this battle once again starting to stretch out a little bit but Doug Barrow has a half a second gap on Wyla Billy so another straw showing here indeed for these straight line motorsports GT Mazda MX-5 cup drivers so SLM Palmer now leading by six tenths of a second over Kyle. And I'm just sending the Discord link now for round two of the Mazda MX-5 Cup. I do apologize to all of those within the Straight Line Motorsports GT3, GT3 Championship and the MX-5 Cup especially. Uh, I think it was just kind of things that were out of my control. I was trying to troubleshoot everything I can and of course things did not work out pretty much until after like the first 12 minutes of the race so we get what we get and of course it's better something it's better to have something rather than nothing as per usual so we are seeing a couple of battles down the grid now let's take a look at what we have right down here we have Mushalot and hair razor right now having a very decent battle here with each other and Elliot Faggot right now is slowly moving up the pecking order right now. He's currently up in the seventh, applying the pressure to Wild Billy. I don't think Wild Billy's going to possibly get in the way of Elliot, obviously. Well, he is at least going to try and defend the position. We've got to see what he's going to do. Oh, Elliot's going to make the move to the inside. The flash is right there. He probably didn't mean to hit the button, but Elliot Faggot is going to make the move stick into sixth place. So that's another strong move right there. For the 64 Mazda. Back up to the front of the field. Palmer once again leading by six tenths. Just under, I should say. A lot of pressure to be withstood from Kyle, who is desperate in trying to get a win here for round two of the Mazda MX-5 Cup for Straight Line Mundus Sports. These Mazda touring car, Mazda Cup cars, they have been in the past previous games, and of course GT6 was amongst one of them. So, and now they make their return into the Gran Turismo Sport franchise, and they're just absolutely fun cars to drive. You can, everyone can literally just have fun with them. 
no matter the scenario, you can get extremely close spec racing like you're getting here, obviously. So on board with Kyle now. He does have to worry about the guys behind because they're having a battle of their own. But then Kyle, of course, is going to have to do the heavier work in trying to get that first place back. And Superhero once again making the move on James' head. And it looks like these two might be having another battle as I say that, actually. James' head now on the back bumper. He's got to get down to the inside because he's going to let James' head by. What's Superhero going to do for this race or for this position in the race? He breaks later than James had what appears to look like. And so now, just once again, just some really action packed racing. And James Head's gonna click it down to the inside, maybe. Oh, and Superhero's gotta give him the room, obviously. But James Head, oh, and he's not able to make the move yet, despite being on the inside. On a corner like that, you would probably expect it to happen. But when there's a spin off from someone, you gotta take a look at that. And that is bar 27. So that's, he's had another incident of some sort on the track. And of course, he is way down the order, unfortunately. But probably I might be losing a position to TJIS78. Elliot now in sixth. Doug Barrow fifth. James Head fourth. Superhero third. Kyle Sackett and Palmer still leading the race with just over six and a half minutes to go. Uh, so now, you just... Start to settle into a rhythm right here, unless I jinx, I give myself the commentator's curse. Oh, and Palmer's going around on the gravel shot out of the lead! Oh, that is a major development right there for the driver who had been leading this race the whole time! That is not good news right there for the 24, who was on pole position for the first race and scored second in the last race. Oh, that would have been a massive use of points right there for him to take home, and that is major drama in this race, and that has just gifted Kyle the lead of this race, and a and very, very jaw-dropping development of this race, Kyle can't believe, I assume Kyle can't believe what just happened, because he's just been gifted the lead of this race, and the action is far from over, James Hatton, the number 7 Mazda, is going to get on the inside of Superhero, in the number 10 Mazda, who's going to be the one to carry the brakes later, of course. And it looks like it's going to be... Oh, and they're still side by side. Can they keep it? James Head on the inside, but they're still too wide. James Head has got the inside for turn number two. And what can Superhero do? Can he keep it on the inside? Oh, and James Head is going to keep the position, and he's going to make the pass for second work. So that's a very interesting thing, but Superhero is going to keep it on the inside for turn three. It is not far from over this race, and it's super, super close for the couple of spots of the podium. Still showing the muscle in Superhero. Getting a worse exit out of the turn three, and James Head is back up into second. This is amazing, amazing stuff that we're seeing right here. And Palmer right now is going to be absolutely fuming under that driver's suit and that driver's helmet right now. He's got a lot of work to do to make up some points and some positions with just under five minutes to go. So that is ideally the worst time you could possibly have an incident on track. So James Head now and Superhero still having their battle, which I assume Kyle is going to get the better of it and is going to, well, if he can hang on, obviously, after all the drama that's been going on, then I'd say that's a very hard-fought win in itself right there. He kept his cool under the pressure and he was applying the pressure to Palmer and he did it very, very well. Of course, we had an incident for Palmer, who pretty much took himself out of the race, unfortunately, but there is still time. There might be not enough time to be able to get back up there in there, because right now, as I speak, Palmer is now eight seconds behind the top, behind Kyle, so he's got to make up at least two seconds a lap to at least try and maintain to get back up to where he started. So, Elliot Fagner now inheriting that fourth spot, so a very good race for him. He was now four seconds behind the leaders. But as for terms of the podium, unless something major happens like it has happened to Palmer, I think the podium positions are going to stand. It's just going to be a case of who will get which podium position. And when the musical chairs stop, and when the music stops, 
And I say that again from the pro coverage of Mr. Lambo Sports Championship. When the music stops is when the podium podium positions will be finalized and sorted out, obviously. Kyle has done a very impressive job in the 22 Mazda MX-5 Cup car. So is James Head, so is Superhero, and so is Elliot Fagater, who basically started at the back of the grid. A strong recovery to recover back up into fourth position, so that's a very, very nice showing for them, obviously. And then Kyle as well, like I said, he's going to take home a massive chunk of points as well for a solid top five finish and potentially here even a win. So that's going to be an impressive showing, like I said, for that driver right there. And someone has gone around at the exit of turn one, and that is Mouchelot right there for ninth position, but he's got two other cars that are coming. He's gonna have to quickly get back on, and bar 27's gonna have an off, but can he do something? Oh, how did Moose, how did TJ has move, make that move stick? He went to the inside of a slower Mazda and was still able to pass bar 27 for ninth position. That is a very impressive showing right there. Back up to the front now. James Head now two tenths down on Kyle. He does have less fuel. James Head does have less fuel than the guy in front. So it's going to be a game of whether James Head can make a move stick. We have less. Th we have a minute and a quarter left. A minute fifteen left at this race. I think they might get another lap. Might. It will be close. And I believe they will get one more lap. The time is they stand right now. This will be the final lap of this race. Kyle now going wide. James Head's going to apply the, the, apply the pressure. This is far from over once again. So very, very close racing for both these guys. Kyle's gonna make the move, no, maybe. He's gonna defend to the inside, which is a very tedious move for James Head, who was right behind him. Can he make the switch move stick? Kyle now going down to the inside. Superhero, what can he do would be in this? Oh, and James Head's gonna force it to the inside, maybe nothing there. James Head has gotta re re maintain a lot of the pressure on for Kyle to make him, to force a mistake. Superhero once again. What can he do? Oh, and Superhero's gone wide, and that's gonna take him out of the potential for a higher position than he is wanting. Elliot Fagner, two seconds down, but he's way too far back. Seven tenths now between Kyle and James Head. Final lap of the race. Coming, coming for the final corner now. I did not think with all the incidents that was going to happen that Kyle 22 was going to win this race, but coming across the, the start finish line for the final time, Kyle 22 is going to win round number two of the Mazda MX-5 Championship. And the podium finishes, of course, James Head and Superhero rounding off the podium. A strong recovery for Elliot Fagner, who finishes fourth, and Doug Barrow with a solid top five. Eslem Palmer with that massive, massive incident. Only could finish sixth. Hair Razor seventh. White Labilly in eighth. Bar in ninth, Mushalot in tenth, and then TGIS who made that move in ninth. He's gonna come to the pits, and what appears to be a DNF, or I assume finishing up. He is going across the line now, but there is your race winner right there, Kyle 22. A very, very well deserved first place and a very deserved win of the race. So let's go invite our podium finishers now. So let me make the party. And we will. So we it will invite these guys, Kyle, James Head, and uh, Superhero. So we wait for them to make their appearance into the... So now we wait for the podium finishers to make their way into the right into the podium's interview. Seven tenths of the line between Kyle 
and James Head, obviously, and then Superhero, another 1.1 seconds off James Head. Now, we are, started, we are certainly starting to get our podium finishers for today. The man on top today, Kyle22, I did not think you would be the one standing on the top position, top podium position. How do you feel right about now? Yeah, I mean, I didn't think it either. Race one was a bit of a mess. Uh, I think I was like P5, and then obviously with the reverse grid, it's these MX5 cards. It's it's basically karting. You got to use the slipstream, and you know you can see once you start to break away, it's it's just a battle between a few people. But yeah, the racing was really good. It was proper racing, I guess. You know, proper club racing. It was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I saw you were uh, applying the pressure to uh, to SLM Palmer, who, who who looked to pretty much just you know keep the keep the position for first and be able to stand on the podium once again but the this going wide into the first turn to kind of just set the tables on his head and uh, obviously that you were the one standing on top of the podium how did you uh how did you have to withstand the pressure from coming from james head as well yeah well i mean like you were saying about uh i think it was palmer that was in the lead you could see going through turn one he was going wide every single lap and just about dipping away onto the grass i think i've seen a few people you know making the same mistake and you could tell it was coming and coming and coming um, but yeah, then obviously got back into the lead and it was tense to say the least, but you know, once, once you get back into the rhythm again, it's, it's fun racing, but you know, it's all about the slipstream and yeah, I think we did a, a pretty good race. Well, you certainly kept the, you certainly did the job today to be able to keep the win and of course be able to take in some, some valuable points for today. So let's move on to second place in the race. We have James Head once again, who had a very tough first race, but was able to recover for a strong P2 at the end of the day. How do you how do you how are you feel right now, James? Um, I can't really describe how I feel, to be honest. Tenth place I was at one stage in that race. Tenth. Just to let that sink in, and I finished second. Yeah, it looks like you had a very. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit speechless. Yeah, I can uh, I can assume so that you had a very strong recovery as well to be able to get into what was pretty much at the start of the race, pretty much a non-existent podium for you, but then you pretty much came back from the dead at the back of the grid and be able to just fight your way back up into second place, which is pretty much no easy feat in any car, basically. How, how what, what was it that basically gave you the motivation, the confidence to basically pick your way one by one, each car, each position, and then fight your way back and set them pretty much seven tenths behind the race winner? So you were basically right behind the race winner and probably might have had a win today. Yeah, there was a bit of aggressive racing um, towards the start of that race. I think it was either lap two or lap three. I was trying to fight for a position. I think it was Palmer that might have blocked me off down the inside. Um, so then I just backed off, recomposed myself, dropped in behind Elliot in 10th. Um, he was in ninth, just ahead. And then it was like a part of the Red Sea. A couple of laps later, a couple of people spinning out and then just making moves stick. Yeah, getting through the field. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> Well, I don't. I, I I think the footage will speak for itself. Obviously, um, of course, we did have a start late start to the commentary, so I do apologize for that. But let's move on to the final podium finisher in the form of Superhero. Superhero, it was another tough day for you, obviously, but you manned up and were able to pull through for a P3 finish. How are you feeling right about now? Um, I feel pretty happy with that. Uh, it was quite uh, shocking how to see uh, the car completely uh, change. Uh, that we did a lot of practice. Uh, quite shocking to see the car a bit slow, not much power. Slipstream didn't help as much, but I'm quite happy how it managed to turn out on the second race. I think round one was just quite unlucky. Uh, turn one caught me, chucked me into the wall, as they say. Um, but after coming back with a second, uh, like second round, and uh, again P3, uh, that was pretty a good race. Well hard, well fought. Um, I think there'll be some interesting, uh, like, steward look at as well, because there was a lot of uh, hard challenges, uh, little battles and all that, where there will be interesting to see what happened. But other than that, I think it was proper a good race and uh, most challenging, most challenging. Yeah, it was certainly looking like to be a very, very cha more challenging race than race one, obviously, where it pretty much just came down to the end of the line obviously and it came down to the last second and the last final lap of that race and also you were having to put put on a lot of pressure right there from uh james head as well and you happened to withstand a lot of pressure from james head as well how did you manage and cope with that um during the race uh well james head was uh, pretty fast on that bit uh he managed to get away from some corners 
Uh, you ma I managed the game on some corners as well. So there was like some magic on some different parts where he can take some slice and I can take some slice. But uh, I think it was really hard trying to focus on the move plus trying to defend as well. But it, out of all of it, I think it was more fair on both sides really because uh, it's not too bad on that track. But as I can say, James really knows where to defend. I think there was probably one instant, but that's round one. Me and him didn't have a good start. Both got caught on turn one. But other than that, me and him managed to just get lucky on the second race and uh, managed to pull out a great race. Yeah, I'd say for the fact that, you know, we had that reverse grid from race one, obviously, everything just kind of turned on its head, obviously, you know, position shuffling up. Um, but, of course, the big drama being uh, SLM Palmer, who unfortunately had that spin obviously which basically really cost them potentially a first place but there you go ladies and gentlemen we hope you did enjoy this unfortunately shortened down broadcast of uh, round two of the straight line motorsports gt3 championship i'm um, with the podium finishers kyle 22 james head and of course superhero and of course we will see you all for the next round of the global mx5 cup championship in about two weeks time and then next weekend we will have the straight line motorsports gt3 championship at suzuka so take care everybody and have an awesome day